on guys it's your boy Armand and we are back with another reading of hope healing and encouragement all right today's uh, hope healing and encouragement message is going to Megan the stallion I was really really triggered by her uh Instagram live today where she talked about not having anybody but her mother like not having her mother her father her grandparents and just kind of trying to fill that void with other people around her that kind of didn't really serve her any good so I kind of want to give her, send her some love because I could really feel her spirit. I really feel like she needed it. So I want to see what we got over here and, and to send us to our girl, uh, to Meg, all right? So uh, let's flip some cards here and let's see what we got, all right? Let's see what we got. Boom, let's see. Blessings, girl, you are blessed, all right? So be understand that you are blessed. At any in any time you might feel that you're unblessed. I know I might feel like, all right, I lost, I'm only 25 years old. I've lost my mom. I've lost my dad. I've lost my grandmother. You are still blessed. God is still blessing you. The universe is still blessing you. You are, you deserve things. You do, you deserve greatness. Your hard work is going to pay off. You are a light to this universe. You are a light to the world and you are destined to be great and you deserve to be here so don't ever feel like you are not worthy of success don't ever feel like you are not worthy to be here there may be times that you feel like you know why me or you're not good enough or 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 things like that but understand that you are blessed people do care about you you are loved and 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 this was supposed to happen this way because you you are strong enough um you are strong enough to carry this load. So I want to first start with that because with that bless that blessings and with that blessings coming out, it just means that you are going to or anything that comes against you, you will be blessed when you make it through it. Ten of Pentacles. Listen, you are going to have everything that you've ever dreamed of in your entire life. Your work ethic has your work ethic has shown itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, you've manifested these things. You are old. These things. You you are here to live a prosperous life. Strength card. You have the strength. This is why God has put you into this position because He knew that you can carry this load. You are going to be an example to so many people. Um, you're going to be an example to so many people that have lost. Um, close family members that literally have no one you are literally a chosen person you are chosen you know and i also want to say with the strength card also because i it's hard everybody says that you're strong you're strong you're strong you've probably been told that a lot and you probably feel like there's times where you you're tired of being strong and you 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 always have to be strong but understand you know you are unbreakable Okay. Um, and, 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 and through your strength, you will be blessed through, through your weaknesses. You will be blessed. You know what I mean? I think it's actually interesting that, you know, her name is Megan the stallion. And then she actually said unbreakable and it just shows how strong you are. And for you to be 25 years old, um, and enduring some of these things like this, um, it's really admirable. So I want you to remember, always remember your inner strength. Even when you feel weak, understand that, listen, you are a lion and you are supposed to you you have the strength you are love you are you are you know you are courage and you can make it through anything um any obstacles i'm seeing obstacles any obstacles that get in your way you will overcome them there's nothing that literally will be able to hold you back nothing um let's see God of Cups. I feel like I feel like also too. I feel like um, this could be her father coming into play. Um, but there, you know, this energy here is. This is to me. This says what this King of Cups mean. This is an emotion. This is this is. I feel like this is your father saying that, girl. I, I got you. You know what I mean. You're you're being supported. Your dad is there for you. Your dad believes in you. Your dad loves you. Your dad is there when you are having those lonely nights and you're crying. You're like, damn, I feel my dad. I feel my mom. You know what I mean. They're there when you when you get really really emotional. Um, your dad is there picking you up. I also feel like um, this is interesting that this came out. Your dad really believes in you and your dad is actually really, really proud of you. He always knew that you could do it. He cries tears of joy when he sees you. 
He knew he always knew you were strong. I also feel like maybe there was a point of him that felt like he disappointed you, that he wasn't really there for you. But at the same time, he's so proud of you. And he wishes that he could have been more for you, but he always knew that you were destined to be bigger than what he could have ever imagined as in, in his entire life. And that's really interesting. Oh, daughter of wands, continue, continue with your passions. Do not get thrown off. Continue to think about new ways to, to, to evolve. This, to me, this feels like your work. You know what I mean? This, to me, this feels like in your careers and your relationships. You know what I mean? Don't be naive though, right? Don't be naive to certain people that are around you. Now you're starting to realize that, hey, listen, I was naive before. I didn't really realize who was for me, who was against me. So now I feel like with this situation now, you're being a lot more cautious. You're not being so young-minded with um, the people that you choose to be around you. Son of Pentacles, yes. Um, so yeah, you're you're at a point now where you're like, all right, listen, all my eyes are open. Um, with, with when it comes to money, when it comes to relationship, because you weren't really thinking. You you're you're growing up. There was the immaturity there when it came to you know balancing money, balancing um relationships with people outside of your family. However, I feel like you're coming through that. You're starting to see things for what they are. And I feel like you are getting a new realization for um, what's to come next. Like, so you're understanding now, like, wow, the, 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 the lids have been peeled back. Your eyes are open. The consciousness is open. The mind is expanded. Like you're understanding this business now. You're understanding relationships now. Like you are being connected in a way that has ne that you've never felt before. So you are, you have been awakened. Yes. Um, with this hangman, I kind of also feel like, yeah, you know, sometimes you get stuck, right? Sometimes you get to a point where you're like, I don't really know. I don't know what, I don't know if I should, you know, if this is what I should be doing or, yes, I, I think with this hangman, this, to me, this is telling me you're done being confused. Like, you know what I mean? Like you, you've, you've actually gotten to a point where you're like, all right, I see things for what it is. Before you may have been like, kind of like unsure and unsettled and uncertain about certain things. But I think you're at a point right now um, where um, you're a lot more sure and a lot more certain about things in your life. So that's really, really good. Um, let's see what else. I want to see um, what is Meg's mom's energy. You know, what does she feel? Does she have any messages for Meg? Does she have any messages? Abundance. There's. Let's. Let me tell you something. Um, and I feel like I'm talking directly to Meg because this really, this really triggered me on this. Um, but it's just like. Girl, whatever it is that that you that you've got, like God, really, 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 really is over your life. It's like blessings and abundance and and, and wealth and and health and strength and, and, and not like you have a lot of a lot of power over you. And that's why I feel like the enemy is always going to try. You're always going to be tested because the enemy wants to break you. You know what I'm saying? The enemy wants to break you. Whatever that is, there's a source that wants to break you, but you cannot be broken. Um, I keep hearing. I keep feeling like you will be tested. But you're not, you're not going to allow the enemy to break you. I feel like you had a very spiritual person around you. Um, and I feel like the enemy feels like, no, 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 no. We, we're going to get her. We're going to break her because it's the influence that you have. It's the power that you have. It's the, it's the success. It's the money. It's, 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 it's the will. It's the strength. And, you know, the enemy wants that on their side. And, you know, I feel like you might have had a praying mother and a praying grandmother. Um, and might even have had a praying father. And they were not... They were not going to let you go down, um, down a road of darkness. And so the enemy now tries to come and take you when you're at your most vulnerable. But with this abundance, you know, I kind of feel like still it doesn't matter what happens. You are going to live an abundant life. And your mom always knew that. Your mom believed in you. Hmm. Goddess of Wands, keep going. 
She wants you to keep going. Don't stop. Don't get your mom. The, the energy from that Ace of Wands, Goddess of Wands. This is your mom coming in here. Girl, keep going. We had a plan. We we already had a mission. We already had this set up in our day. And you better not stop now. You better, you gotta fulfill this mission. This is no time. This is no time. This is no time to be soft. This is time to kick it into the highest gear. Hmm. Okay. She's with you the whole way. Everything that y'all. Wow. Everything that you guys talked about, you know, that's still a part of the plan. She's with you along the way. I'm also seeing um, this seven of wands. You got to be cautious about your surroundings at all times. You know, and be prepared to stand in your truth, girl. You know what I mean? Stand in your truth. Do not let people bully you around. That's your mom. That's this the energy from your mom is saying, listen, protect, protect your, protect your peace, protect your energy. Don't trust everybody. This seven of wands. You you at any moment you got to be able to defend, defend your truth and defend your position and defend your rights amongst anybody. Because you know what the plan is. You know what you've discussed. I feel like your mother has really instilled, you guys had a lot of talks and she instilled a lot of power in you and a lot of no nonsense, right? And so there was a goal. And to me, it feels like that she was a stickler and she's high energy, meaning we're focused. This is what we're doing. And this is how it's going to get done. And she wants you to keep that same energy, literally, because there's a goal of abundance and that she wants you to have. Hmm. Okay. Period. The Empress, this is your mom all day long. She said, I'm with you, baby. I'm with you. I'm with you here. Um, she's with you through this, through this whole thing. Even when you don't think that she is, or you may don't, let's don't ever worry about that. Focus on what you're focused on that. She's always going to be with you. I'm seeing that you, she's all, you're always going to be her baby and don't take on any of any, don't, don't take on the burdens of her dad. She wants you to release those burdens. Because huh. Her job is done. She believed that you were going to get the world anyway. This is a dope ass read. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, everything that you've gone through, everything that Meg has gone through, Meg, if you ever see this, everything that you've gone through, you are going to go through this because the level of greatness that you are destined for is crazy. Like, you are going to be successful beyond your wildest dreams. And yeah, it sucks not to have your friends, I mean, your mom and your dad with you here in the flesh, but in spirit, they are there and they do not want you, particularly this mother, this energy, she is like, girl, we, we not crying right now. We here, we got a number one. Let's go. This is what we talked about. This is what we planned. This is what we cried about. This is what we got excited about. The moment is here. Forget about me. The moment is here. Go. Take it. Fly. The world is yours. You're going to be all right. Like, you're going to be all right. And I think that, I think that, I think that, you know, it's sometimes it's a lot easier said than done, but I feel like there's a level of strength in Meg that is, that's why she's tested so much. I feel like this is just the beginning. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion has the possibility to be like a mega, mega, mega superstar. And honestly, 
this moment needed to happen for her to transcend. Because after this, it's over. She's going up. Yes, purity. She's going up. She's about to transcend. Mm. I'm the high priestess. To me, with this high priestess and this purity here, to me, this just feels like with this high priestess and white. And this, to me, means like literally stepping into that power of intuition and greatness and just that's the magic right there yo that's that elevation that's that that's like that third dimensional like almost borderline scary like kind of like level girl you're stepping into into some real change um she's about to be elevated to a whole nother level. Megan Thee Stallion has literally transcended before our eyes. Like she's about to go and blow to a whole nother level. She's about to be like on top, top. Wow. Well, I think this was a good read. I feel like I feel like the basis of this read, you know, was encouraging her to stay focused. The people, your family is with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you learned a lot through this, but be encouraged because you have a goal, you have a mission, you have a task, you have something that you need to accomplish and you are gonna be tested. Um, you're gonna have times where you, don't, you wanna give up. You're gonna have those moments where you don't feel adequate enough right and you've dealt with that you've dealt with being the tall girl you've dealt with being the thicker girl you know but now but now that is a look now that is a style that is what girls are aiming to be now everybody wants to be a stallion you are literally an influencer like and it's time to really step into your power because whether you realize it or not, you're being pushed into power in dimensions beyond your control. Or probably beyond your even knowing, like you are being elevated. There is literally nothing that is going to break you or stop your career. Because that's not what was designed. That's not how it was designed. You were designed to go through everything that you're going through so that you can conquer the world. And your mom, that the mother energy here is very much getting me because it's very much so, girl, we need you to be focused on the on, on the task. It's very much that fire, that passionate. Don't lose focus of the goal. Don't lose focus of the music, man. Don't lose focus of the job that you set out to do. She is on your behind. Like, girl, listen, get it together. You know what this daughter of Cups is telling me too? She'll always be there when you need her next to this empress. If you ever felt like you needed her, whenever you do need her, she will come through. Or she'll send her, she'll send your angels. Like you're not, you're not really, really alone. So don't, 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 don't think that you're alone to have to carry all these burdens by yourself and things like that. Just focus on the plan. I'm hearing just focus on the plan. Be smart. Because some of the stuff you got to do on your own, but focus on the plan and everything else will fall into place. She left you with a blueprint. She left you with a plan that she wants you to focus on. Do not deviate from the plan. I'm hearing that she feels like she knows it all. Do not deviate from the plan. And don't let these hiccups in the road throw you off. So, all right, guys. Well, that was my reading on the situation. Um, I would like to just say be encouraged. Um, I hopefully, hopefully, this could have, um, if this 
got to Meg or if anyone else was watching this and was going through a similar situation, I hope that you were encouraged by this message as well. Um, so yeah, you know, love and light and peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. All right, my name is Armand Wiggins, and this has been another installment of the Armand Wiggins Show. And thank you for watching. And make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And until next time, I want you to keep that same energy. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.